Invigorate is a character processor from Newfangled Audio designed to add life to your buses, mix, or individual tracks. Let's take a look. Here I've got this on a drum bus, and I'm going to start by learning the nominal RMS level so that we get a more accurate gain compensation, and it's averaging out the signal, and that's fine. And I can start by dialing in some compression. So that's a little over-compressed, but of course we can blend it in. Let's explore the detection circuit. The attack knob controls the onset of the compression, and the faster it is, the more it's going to squish the transients. And the slower it is, the more the transients will pass through. So we hear those nice sharp snare attacks. And a faster release will give a pumping and breathing type of effect, even distortion at very low values. And a slower release will be more natural. Now when we do get some pumping, we have this anti-pump function to help smooth it out. So let's dial in some more middle of the road values. We have a detection circuit here with the sensitivity field where I can have it react less to the low end by dialing that down. So the kick drum is cleaner, not triggering the compression as much. We see there's less compression. And we have three bands we can control the crossover point. Again, in parallel. It'd be really nice. Further, we have an input EQ, three bands. So maybe I want to jack up the mids to bring up more of the room. Maybe not that much. But a little bit. There's a long way. And the output as well. Post the compression. And again, we can adjust the cutoff point. And let's blend that in. Here I've got this on the bass, and I'm going to start by learning the RMS level. Just averaging it out around there. Let's dial up some distortion. That's nice and nasty. I'm going to hold the command key, just lower the level of it. Let's explore the controls. Shape is like a knee control. The higher it is, it means it's a harder knee with more snap and bite to the transients. This will give an overcompressed quality. And the gate will clip the center of the curve, giving a kind of gated type of sound. I'm going to hold the control key to blend it in. And we can kill the dry signal with this and hear just the process sound. So that's what's being added in. Here I've got this on the guitar bus. And I'm going to drive the input a bit here before I learn the RMS level, just to get a bit of a stronger signal coming in. And let's dial this up. Okay, that's plenty of distortion. Get a bit more aggressive sounding like that. And let's bring up the gate to enhance those transients. Let's dial it in. That's the processed sound. Let's go to the output EQ here. Let's see if we can boost the mids a bit. Narrower band. So that should give it some cut in the mix. Brass. I'm going to start by boosting the input. We've got some swells and different dynamics. That's pretty good. We'll dial in some compression. And we're gonna get a quicker attack. We've got the anti-pump up. Drive it in in parallel. That's just the compressed signal. A bit of hair on there, but I don't mind. And I'll lower the output here to compensate. 
Let's go to the output EQ. Finally, let's toggle all four off and on together. And we'll add an instance on the mix bus to bring it up. Invigorate allows you to add drive and smoothly morph between compression limiting and overdrive using a unique radar style interface. And then once you find the amount that you like, use the mix knob to blend it in in parallel. Now when you're working in the radar, once you've dialed in the amount of gain that you like, you can use the option or alt key to move between the different stages of saturation while maintaining your level, or you can hold Command or Control on Windows to change the gain while maintaining your position in the radar. And you can use the Control key or right click to adjust the mix level right from the radar interface. Here I've got a test tone running through Invigorate and we see the waveform over here. And when I make it active, even with nothing dialed in, you'll see that it's generating harmonics. So this isn't about being super clean, it's about what sounds good. And as I dial this up, of course, we're gonna be generating more harmonics. And as we move into the distortion, we're gonna continually generate more. And you'll see this shape curve change as we dial this up. And that's kind of the secret sauce here in the detection circuit as it overdrives the signal and generates more and more saturation. Now we've got a really useful compensate gain function. And let me just dial this down here. Now without this, as expected, as I dial this up, we're gonna see a change in the output level. And compensate gain will compensate for that, but we also have this nominal level function, which allows it to learn the program material passing through to maintain the RMS level more accurately. We can adjust it manually like that or just hit the learn button. And because this is a constant signal, it's just staying at one value and not fluctuating. But there it's detected the optimal input level for the compensate gain. So as I dial this up now, we'll see a more even consistent output level as we sweep through the different stages of saturation, even when we add a fair bit of overdrive. And Invigorate also has a hard limit function in case you're not using compensate gain to limit the output at zero dBFS. 